MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the New York Yankees. Yankee baseball starts now. Jordan Montgomery will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What's your take on him, Dan? Really like this guy. He reminds me a lot of Andy Pettit, left-hander from the University of South Carolina. Not an overpowering fastball, kind of like Andy Pettit. Low to mid-90s fastball, good curveball. His secondary pitches, he needs to improve on a little bit, but this guy has a bright future. Quality the arm from the left side. Cleveland. Digging in, Cesar Hernandez. Cesar. And we are ready for Hernandez. some daytime baseball. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hard hit ball to second. Gloved by LeMayhew. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Batting second. The center fielder, number 35. Oscar Mercado. Stepping up now, Oscar Mercado. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. And now pitch on the way. Nope. A ball and no ball. strikes. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let Drives it the other way to deep right. Going back is the right fielder. Gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Third home run for him on the year as the Tribe move out in front one to nothing. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that they take the lead. In now, Jose third. Ramirez. The third baseman, Jose. Ball. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball no, one, one and oh. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. One oh count, here it is. Nope. Looks like that bomb nope. earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. Line toward the gap in left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Boy, that, that would look like a cinch extra base hit off the bat, but a terrific diving catch in left center field. So bases are empty here with two gone, and here's Fran Reyes stepping in. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Hey. One ball and one strike to their designated hitter this afternoon. The 1-1. One, one. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Two out, nobody on. To two balls and two strikes now. 
he might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Full count, 3-2 and two to the Indians' D.H. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, 2-2. Two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. 3-2 pitch. And he misses ball four. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was it. tempted with some really good time. pitches, but he stayed Probably. disciplined and drew the walk. Ready now, Carlos Santana. And he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. First pitch coming, here it is. Aye. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Onto the shortstop, but thrown away. You know, Dero, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. Standing in now, Domingo Santana. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. Ready with the 1-0. And that's too high, ball two. Ready with the 2-0. That's ball three. In there, three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Three and one, here it is. Fastball in there, three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. Count still full, three and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Tuckman is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Aaron Savali will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, just like batters go into slump, pitchers go into slumps too. This guy really struggled in his last one. He took the loss and wasn't able to get out of the third inning. Hopefully he can flip that mojo around in this one. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the here bottom half of the first. The, Yankees, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Now the pitch. Ball one. Inside. So, fellas, this Indians ball club, as they begin play here this afternoon, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. 
Yeah, Maddie, they started yesterday off on the right foot. If they get put together two games in a row, a lot of positive vibes start happening. You never know. This could be a jump start to big things. One and one the count. Now here's the pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. And Gardner's going to reach. It's a base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Hard bullet single to left field that on a pitch that was kind of a middle eight, down eight. in the zone, D. Rowan. He's going to have to make some better pitches than that one. Yeah, if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate, he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. You see the great batting average coming in. Three homers, 10 RBIs. The 0 and 1 delivery. I got one ball, one strike. Gardner aboard here at first with nobody out. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Come set. Now the pitch. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Batting third. The catcher. Striding into the Gary. box. Gary Sanchez. That first catch. swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Now a throw over. And he'll get back in safely. And another throw over. And a dive, but he's back in. First pitch on its way. Yeah. Runners on first with one down. Drilled right back up the middle. Hernandez at second. Throw to Santana. The double play and that's how the side is retired. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The Indians lead it one to nothing. At the plate, Jordan Luplo. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. First pitch coming. Here it is. Strike taken. Good bender on the outside there. Fouled away. Oh and two. Here it comes. Way outside. One and two. Rounded back up the middle. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting it. The shortstop, Ernie Clement. So striding in, Ernie Clement is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, oh, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, nine. the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is they a big own. one. Some guys have success when they first get called up. But as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Stepping in now, Sandy Leone. As the first Off pitch the to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. The 1 0 home is a fastball taken high for a ball. Two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. 3 and 0 now. Cesar Hernandez would be next. Now the 3 and 0 offering. He is taken strike 1. Just the second inning but already 37 pitches to this point. Gets him to swing and miss there 3 and 2. Payoff pitch home. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but. That was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. The 1-1 home. Softly hit here to the left side. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for the Tribe. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Giancarlo Stanton now. Leading off for the Yankees. The designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch to third. Ramirez is up with it. And that's out number one. Batting fifth. The left fielder, Tyler Wade. Now at the plate, Tyler Wade. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. 
Bases are empty, one man out. And it's one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Pitch on the way. Ball, that's inside. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? That All he wants to do is get on that's base and stop. take advantage Flavor. of the strength of his game, which is his Go speed. Red. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Mercado will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down one nothing. Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. At the start of the day, they have the highest strikeout total in the entire league and one of the best team ERAs. So it's no surprise some of the pitchers I talked to were proud of what they've accomplished and confident in what they're capable of. Despite the success, they explained how they really try to push each other to get better every day. As one of them put it, we have amazing stuff on this pitching staff. Just look at all the strikeouts. But we take pride in continuing to get better as a unit every single day. It sounds like they're always trying to stay one step ahead of the hitters, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. A little late that time as he swings and misses for strike one. Fouled off. Ready to deliver the one and two. two, two. Yep. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. That is not the way he wanted now to start off this half Thursday. inning. It's one thing to okay. walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball one, no strike. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. The 1-1. One, one. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. and one. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder coming on. 
Oh, and he has some trouble with it. He'll get it into second, and he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. Man, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and just say he lost sight of it, but then I watch and say, nope, that's just a blundered play. Can't really sugarcoat it. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And next, the dangerous power threat, Fran Reyes. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit in the air out to left field. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. You've got the applaud bad. the effort there from the left fielder. It just didn't work out as the ball yeah. squirts by him, resulting in a double. That's the danger of leaving your feet in the outfield. Here's Carlos Santana now. And that misses ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The left fielder, number 24, Domingo Santana. Digging in to try it again, Domingo Santana. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Maddie. But hey, you know what? Another flyout wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push to throttle and pull it is being used. Ready with two balls and a strike. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny. When you do that, you usually don't have as good a control as you do when you just let it go free and easy. Full count, three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than now watching that, that high fastball. A high piece Jordan. of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. To the plate now, Jordan Luplo. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Yeah, that's a little suspicious now if you ask me, guys. Whenever you hit a guy with runners on second and third and first base open, the players in the opposing dugout take notice and probably aren't too thrilled about it. Settling in now, Ernie Clement looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Strike one to start the at-bat. in there and it's 0 2 now gotta think he was sitting fastball right there to let that hanger go by he won't see that pitch again the rest of the season 
Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. A run for the Indians on the RBI double. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 2-0 Indians. Leading off the inning, Luke Voigt. And they'll go. need him to get something Yankees. going here. Hey, the we're still in the man. early stages in this Four. one. They're only down by a couple of runs. Four. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. There's a strike with the breaking ball. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Batting eight. The right fielder. Mike. So coming to the plate, Mike Tuckman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here it comes. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Hey. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Now here's the pitch. This one's down to third. Ramirez is there. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting ninth. The second baseman. DJ. LeMayhew. Coming to the plate now. DJ LeMayhew. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not what he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Here's Brett Gardner now. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. At the ball. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Two out here and a runner at second. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Called strike on the sinker two and two now. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. A full count three balls and two strikes. Gio Urshela would be next. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. Finally, up to this point, the entire lineup had been swinging at anything close, and this guy decides to show a little more patience at the dish and is rewarded with a base on balls. 
That was a good at bat. So digging in now, Gio Urshela, two on, two out for him here in the third. Here's the first pitch to him. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. They trail it here, two to nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians' hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right, Heidi, thank you. Digging in now, Sandy Leone. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. One of the keys yeah, to securing a win, they, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball in. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Ball and a strike now to Sandy Leone. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The one two. It's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Heading out towards shallow right into a slide, and he makes a great catch for the first down. The batter number seven, second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. That's a slick play out there as we take a look at it on show motion. He was charging in quickly, and he slides to get under the ball just before it reaches the ground and gets the out. Well done. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses. Three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Count remains full. The three, two, one more time. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That was actually a well-executed fastball. In to in off the plate. Credit the offensive player. He smelled that coming. Turned and burned. At the plate, Oscar Mercado. So he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame.
just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And he wastes a fastball high there, 1-2. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0-2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off-speed curveball down in the zone. Hit back up the middle. A step on the back for one. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. Now After back. fielding this one cleanly, you see he tries to take it himself at second base, but they just can't turn the double play. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Ramirez. An error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. First pitch on its way. 1 0. The 1 0 delivery. 2 0 now. He's gone back to back with off speed stuff to start this AB, and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge. Outside, oh, 3 and 0 now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this now walk back. is going to grind at him for a bit. He just Bobby missed, and now the Green. inning continues with the man in scoring position. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound, and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Ladies Luis Sessa answers the call from the pen here in the fourth now as they didn't the get the outing they were hoping for Number from the starter. 85. Luis Sessa. Fran Moreyes will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. He's set. Here it comes. Nope. And he takes ball one. Hey, this dude's clearly capable of clearing the bases with one swing. So I think to approach this guy is try to keep the ball off the plate. See if they can get him to chase something. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Drill down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now, three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Now Reyes with a drive, well hit out to deep left field. Into the second deck and gone. A three-run shot down the line in left. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Indians have now opened up a 5-0 lead. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare, depending on your viewpoint. A power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. So now Carlos Santana. Now batting, the first baseman. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Now the 1-0. Popped him up. 
Urshela is there for it. And that's the third out. Indians hang a crooked number thanks to this three run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Indians five and the Yankees nothing. Leading off the inning, Gary Sanchez. And they'll the need Yankees. him to get something going the here. Lots Gary. of baseball left in this one as we're still Sanchez. early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Sinker, one ball, one strike. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Mercado is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. The batter, the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Squared that one up just a little late. No runs, two hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Mercado is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting the left fielder, Tyler Way. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. No runs, two hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he misses there one and two. I love a well executed change up especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair and you could have some problems. Santana's got it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So no runs no hits no errors and no one left. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Indians five and the Yankees nothing. Ready for another chance. Domingo Leading Santana passed meetings against Luis Sessa. He's two for three. Domingo Santana. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. And it's gone as they add still another. It's a solo shot here for Domingo Santana. Fourth home run for him on the season. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Boy, when this guy gets in a groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out. This guy's going to do some major damage. The right into field, the right box eight. Jordan Luplo Jordan. and he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball it's nothing in one last time up he was hit by a pitch yeah. 
Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. And there's a base hit on the line. Boy, this has been a tough one for him so far, d -Row. Seventh Cal hit Batman. of the game already. The They're really Early. making him work. Yeah, 100%, Dan. As Dustin Pedroia says, it's a laser show out there. In now, Bernie Clement as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Oh, it's hit to third. 5, 4, 3, and they turn the double play. Now batting, catcher, Sandy Leon. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, it'll be the catcher, Sandy Leon. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Legs churning. He's headed for second. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. The batter. He got a hanger in the, the middle of the base. plate. He could have come Take unglued, but he didn't. Him. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Standing in now, Cesar Hernandez. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1 and 0. Two out here and a runner at second. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him, 1 and 1. Ball and two strikes now. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Count. Two and two. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. But the Indians add to their lead thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's the Indians six and the Yankees nothing. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Leading off for Good the stuff, Yankees. Heidi. Thanks. Not shortstop. Waver Torres. First offering on its way. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Lays one off ball. that time, and two it's three. 1 and 2. Ball two. 
two strikes. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. Boom goes the dynamite. So a solo shot here to left center field. Fourth home run for him on the season, and they're on the board. It's six to one. Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging. Well, with that solo shot, they've stopped digging, but they've got a long way to go before they climb out of this hole completely. Into the box now, Luke Voigt, the first baseman. As he'll Ow. take a look at a high strike here on the Four. outside corner, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first now out. Batting, right fielder, Mike Stockman. Digging in now for the Yankees, Mike Talkman. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. That's a ball. And a ball 1-0. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Ready on one and two. Hard sinker misses two and two. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hoped with that home run, but now I've got to give him credit for flushing it baseman. and coming back DJ. here to get strikeouts on the last two Love guys. Debut. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Nope. A ball That's and no ball. strikes. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. The 1 0. Scorched to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We're through five here this afternoon. It's the Indians six and the Yankees one. Now at the plate, Oscar Mercado. He set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Oscar Mercado. Pitch on the way. No, in fact. The 1 0 home. Misses, ball two. two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Liner toward right center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now batting. The third baseman, Jose. Ramirez. 
to the plate now. Jose Ramirez inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. No one out with a runner at second. Hit in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now batting, designated hitter, Romeo. From the stretch. Hey. A man at third with one away. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Oh, right back to him on the mound. He'll send it on over to first, and a big out there as that keeps the runner anchored at third with two away now. Now batting, the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Now in the box, Carlos Santana, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch of the at bat. Yeah. In there, 0 and 1. They'd be thankful the batter was sitting on something else. Or that pitch might have went a long way. Those cement mixers, you get the barrel to them, they can be torched. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job there as the count goes to 1 and 2. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Two outs here with a runner at third. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Indians leave one. They hold on to their six to one lead. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Brett Gardner. For the and Yankees. through five turns at bat, they've the only mustered fielder. a total of three Brett. hits. Not terrible, Gardner. but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Fouled away. The windup and the 0-1. One ball, one strike. Fly ball right down the line in left. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt now foul, but it hugged Number the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one.
This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Now batting, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Stepping in, Gary Sanchez. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. One ball, no strikes the count. The 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Call didn't go his way on 2-1, and one, but it's important here on 3-1 and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Runner at second here with one man out. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Hey, there's a base hit right there. Now they have a couple of runners on with less than two outs, but they're down by so much in this game that hopefully maybe they can get something started here in this inning. Yeah, 100%, Dan. I've played the game a long time. I've never seen a big league hitter giving that bat away. You chip away and fight until that 27th out is made. Two balls and no oh, strikes. The count is Stanton. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2-0. Too tight with that one. 3-0. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Here's the 3-0 pitch. Fouled off. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be now a back. little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. At the plate, Tyler Wade. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. One ball, no strikes to count. Ground ball, foul down the left side. One one. Nope, inside ball two. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Now the two one pitch takes a pitch for strike number two.
Here now the 2 2 is in there a called strike three. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate but probably too good to take and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah that pitch was right on the black beautiful pitch and even if we had robot umps he'd still be out but the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Into the box Torres as he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. The 0 1 and it's fouled away. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. On to the back third here this afternoon and we've got it for you on the show. Your Zach Britton is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning game. number seven. Number 53. Zach, Zach. Britton. All set for the start of the inning. Now at the plate, Domingo Santana. He's working on a one for three thus far. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. He's set and the pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Now the 0-1. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that the time. Right yeah, that was really well Jordan. executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. At the plate now, Jordan Luplo, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. A hit in two tries for him so far. Oh, one pitch on its way. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. The one one home. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMayhew at second. Throw in time at first for out number two. The batter, the shortstop, Ernie Clement. Stepping into the box, Ernie Clement. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. From the stretch, here's the pitch. It's away the 0 1 pitch. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Going back is the left fielder. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers, kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing.
Standing in now, Sandy Leone. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The 0 1 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Wade is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Danger averted Ladies following the two out double. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Phil Maton gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Phil Maton. Last half of the seventh here into the box. More than He was a ground out the victim last baseman. time up. It doesn't look very promising so far in this Four. one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. A shot down the first baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. Ball. And he looks at a ball one and two. Pitch on the way. I got to count two and two. Fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time it is laid off, and the count runs full. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Classic slider down and away from now the strike out there. The right Not a field. whole lot to say about that right. pitch that hasn't been said a million Not times bad. already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. In now, Mike Talkman. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. No hits to this point. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. I got one ball, one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Lined hard toward right center, and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the now game back. here, and that'll Second extend his hit. hitting streak. DJ. Yeah, he didn't come out of his he didn't Love come out of what he was you. trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, D Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is. He hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this oh, one to come through. Good. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far.
One and no pitch on the way. Ball two. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2-0 on the way. He's in there for strike one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Runner at first here, one man out. Well hit, but also well foul into the seats in left. The 2 2 one more time. High and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Digging in and looking for more, Brett Gardner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Here's the 0 1 pitch and a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Two out with the man at first. Had nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. As a look, now the pitch. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. The lead remains five. It's six to one. New inning set to get underway. Standing in, Cesar Hernandez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball one, no strike. Here comes the 1 0. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. The center fielder, number 35, Oscar Mercado. Digging in, Oscar Mercado. He doubled his last time through. Here comes the first pitch. Aye. One out, nobody on. Lays one off the ball, slider, and it's one and one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roy, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. 
really good late bite on that slider right there. Now batting, the best ones have the that 13, late 13. action that just darts okay. at the last minute. Good They're so it. tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez. Ramirez swings, and this one's hit well to left. And gone! An absolute bomb. So a solo shot here to left center field. Home run number five on the year as it's now a six run ball game. Now batting. The designated hitter. And that'll Ron bring Reyes. in Fran Moreyes. As the first pitch to him, a sinker in the dirt for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. The 1 0 delivery. 2 0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Bases are empty here with two men out. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. He loses him on ball four. Wow, if that's not a strike, I don't know what the is. Batter. I know these the hubs have a tough team. job. I get Follow. it. We'll see if he gets the yeah, next yeah. borderline call or if there are any makeup calls coming up. Now at the play, Carlos Santana. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch-outs will stick with you a little longer. Hey! Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Nope. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. He's set, and the one-two pitch. Hard sinker misses two and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. But the Indians add to their lead thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's the Indians seven and the Yankees one. Stepping in, Gio Urshela. No Yankees. hits in three tries so the far. He struck out once. Number 29. First pitch on its way. Ball, that's inside. One oh count, here it is. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Hard hit ball to short. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Now batting. Catcher, Gary Sanchez. 
Standing in, Gary Sanchez. Here comes the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game perhaps. It's 2 and 1. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Center fielder going back. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Fourth home run for him on the season, and it's a 7-2 game now. Well, that's the sixth home run we've watched leave the yard in this one. Guys, what do you think's behind the hitting we've seen here today? Dan, I can only speak from my own past experiences. When the flags are blowing out, you want as many at-bats as you can, and that's exactly what's happening. This ball's jumping at it. You know, d Row, this is always a nightmare for a pitcher. Not only is this a good hitting ballpark, but the wind blows out on top of it. This is the last place you want to be a pitcher at. Dominic Leone answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Now At that, the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1 0 home. Is a fastball that misses. Hey. Now a cut fastball finds the target, two and one. Here's the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees D.H. Every ball club has that spark plug guy and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Now the payoff pitch home. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The next three two. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, the reason power hitters now generally back. draw Left more field. walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Where? Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So stepping in, Tyler Wade. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. He's set. Here it comes. Nope, up Runners on first with one down. Ah. In there, one and one. Swing and a miss. That yep. one tied him up. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. He'll try again, one, two. And he lays off it to even the count, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. 
Now batting. Good Ready stop. once again. Torres. Right he looked to bounce back after Go striking man. out his last time up. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. Look out, 1 and 1. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Hit in the air to left field. Santana is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Ninth inning coming up. It's now a 7-2 ball game. Your Jonathan Holder please. enters from the pen to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the score right Number where it 56. is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Jonathan Holder. In now, Domingo Santana. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. But an Adam Bull right to him for the first down. Jordan Luplo. Ready for another shot now. Jordan Luplo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering on its way. In there for strike one. 0 oh and one. One out. Nobody on. In there and he's ahead 0 oh 2 now. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss here. And the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. The bat. Into the box now. The Ernie time. Clement Ernie. He comes into this appearance Clement. in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. The cutter runs outside. Ball one. Skied into straightaway right. Tuckman is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Indians go down one, two, three. They're on top seven to two. You're Adam Simber, a six foot four inch now right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 90, Adam Simber. Now to the plate, Luke Voigt. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. First delivery to him on the way. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. And now a pitch on the way. Ball. Action going on now in the Indians bullpen as they have a left hander up and getting loose. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Ball two.
Simber was known as a short relief specialist a guy who came in got one or two big outs but with the new pace of play rules they're forcing a change for this right hander and here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning now batting right fielder stepping up to the plate Mike Talkman. he's Talk got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 1 0. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Strike called two and one. I got two one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Oh, Man, that swing looked like self-defense and a real man. quality swing. But, hey, he muscled it out there. Well, and it was enough you. to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. So far this season, LeMayhew is holding on to a batting average way down in the 210s. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. One out and a runner on second base. High in the air out to center field. Mercado is there, two gone. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So back to the top of the Yankee order, digging in, Brett Gardner. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here comes the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. The 1-0 home. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. We got two balls, one strike. Cue shot here out towards short. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Indians have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. 7-2, to two, the final score this afternoon. Cleveland get the win on the heels of four home runs. Aaron Savali earns the win his second. Jordan Montgomery couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.